How's everyone doing today? Burke Crown 88 coming to the YouTube video. Happy Saturday. And we're going to be going over plus ones, plus twos. The boosts that they give to players to bump them up to that next level. Is it worth it? Does it really matter? Should you spend the extra coins? Or what are you looking for when you're comparing these players to see if you should even spend that extra or just ride out the one you got until you get like a plus five. So let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. And let's really talk about cards. What overall change really matters? So I'm going to start here with is Nazem Kadri. I got three players to show you different versions of it and how it works and what we're looking for and, you know, does it really matter or not and the importance of looking at a card just before you buy it just because it upgraded. So we got Nazem Kadri here. Again, the cards are going to be the same, right? Six foot, left-hand shot, 185 pounds. None of the build of the player is going to change. And then when it comes to synergies, because he's a two-way forward, all of his cards are going to have two-way forward. And then the boost abilities... They fluctuate a little bit, but not much. So here you have shooting boost, which helps out a little bit. So this Nazem Kadri is a free card with the, like, the elite event, which is a nice add. And these uh, these events or these free cards that you get from doing stuff, they actually pack a little bit of a punch. So these event builds, these special builds, are the ones that you want to keep an eye out for. So for instance, 86 Nazem Kadri. You can get this card for free. He has 90 speed. 88 wrist shot accuracy and power, 90 face off, and 90 endurance with unstoppable force and puck on a string. But he also comes with two way forward, which gets him up to a 93 face off, and shooting boost, which gets his shooting into the 90s. The reason I'm showing this is because it's very important. And if you have not played 10 games yet, which you probably have, but if you haven't played 10 games since Elite One came out, you'll see here. Elite one it expires in seven days, but you can still go earn that Nazem Kadri for free Just by playing either ten rivals hut champs or squad battles You don't have to do anything. You don't have to put anyone on your team You just have to play the games So chances are you have that Nazem Kadri for free and if you don't you can still go get it The reason I bring that up is because Nazem Kadri has an 87 overall plays of the year card now again Because he's a two-way forward his first synergy slot is going to have two-way forward so that doesn't change where it changes a little bit is he goes from a shooting boost to a speed boost, bringing him up to 90 speed. But the 86 Kadri has 90 speed. So going out and buying this card when you can get a free one doesn't make sense if you're looking for the speed. They both have unstoppable force. One of those has breaker. One of those has puck on a string. Neither one of those you're using. And then the endurance on this card is actually 80 when the free one was 90. And then with the two-way forward, this one's face off is 87 when the other one was 93. And then shooting on this one is 87, but the other one you can get up into the 90s with the boost. So when you take a half a second, if you're a Nazem Kadri fan, you would keep the free 86 and you wouldn't buy this 87. Or if you pulled this card, you would sell it and still use your 86. Or if you pulled this one untradeable, it would be a set fodder card and you would still use the 86. That's what I'm saying. You got to take your time, break down cards and see which one's better than the other one. Because not always is it the higher overall is the better card. In this instance, the 86 Kadri is miles better than the 87 Kadri because one, you get it for free and two, it's all of its stats are better except the overall. Now, another reason I brought this up is because of the 95 Leon Drysaddle that just got added. He has Unstoppable Force, No Contest, Tape to Tape, 1T Snipe, all very good abilities. Then he has Sniper Forward with Two Way Forward, Playmaking Forward, and then the boost, you know, all the boosts, right? 95s, they just have so many. 92 Speed, 91 Acceleration with 83 Endurance and 97 Shooting with a 91 Face Off. This card is really good, right? When you look at it on the Auction House, it is 369,000. Yes, you can build this card in a set, but it would cost you more to build it in a set than it would be to just buy it. So 370,000 to buy this card for 92 speed and 97 shooting. And then two overall less, 93. You know, he still has the sniper forward. He still has the playmaker. He still has shooting boost, checking boost, defensive boost. They pretty much are identical with their abilities because they're so high in overall. And then one T tape to tape, puck on a string, unstoppable force. I guess the other one has no contest if that's what you're looking for. But 91 speed, when the other one has 92 speed, the price tag better not be that far apart. Because if the price tag is far apart, you're paying so much more just for one speed. 95 shooting accuracy com compared to 97. 83 endurance compared to 83 endurance. And then 89 face off compared to 91 face off. You could use Dry Sidle's 95 on the dot. You could use his 93 on the dot. 89 is not terrible. It just depends on whether or not you get the counter right. But what's the price tag? 200,000. Maybe in 24 hours you can get them for 170,000. But 204,000. For this dry side, I'll buy now. That is a hundred 
and 66,000 cheaper for one overall speed and one overall to shooting. It's not worth it. This is the stuff you have to pay attention to. This is the stuff you have to be careful with. If you have this 93 dry set on your team and you pull the 95, that's awesome. Put them on your team, sell the 93 or sell the 95 and keep the 93, but do not sell the 93 and go buy the 95 thinking that you're getting a drastic change going from 93 to 95. The, 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 there's, there's just no difference there. There is nothing there that tells me this 93 is 160,000 worse than the 95. And that's the stuff you gotta be careful with. Now I did say I'm looking at this a couple different ways. That's why I picked the players that I picked. And that's because it's not all, you know, just keep the one or two overall or just keep the lesser overall card and ignore the upgrades, right? Sometimes the upgrades can't be ignored. And sometimes the upgrades are the same price as the previous overall. And we're gonna, and I'm gonna show you that right here. So the 92 again, look, 93 speed, 90 endurance, 97 shooting. Everything about this card is great. This card looks fantastic. You know, Schneid, Born Leader, Unstoppable Force, back at you. Back at you being changed in this latest patch to make it relevant or more relevant. Power forward, sniper forward, shooting boost, checking boost, so you can play with it into your team's needs. But this card's really good. And when you look at the price tag of it, how much does it cost? You can get this card for 145000 This guy's waiting half an hour to save 5000 I mean, maybe that's all he's got, but okay. So 145000 is the cheapest you can get it at right now. And then when you look at the other Aginla we have, this is the 88 Captain MSP, which has Born Leader, Snipe, Unstoppable Force, nice. 91 speed, nice. Power forward, shooting boost, checking boost. So pretty much everything with synergies, abilities, it's all kind of built the exact same. The 92 has 93 speed, the 88 has 91 speed. So again, very close, right? Very close and it's not something you would go and spend 140,000 on to move up from if you had this card. And then 90 shooting to 97 shooting, that's a little bit of a difference. That is that is a very significant difference. And then 85 endurance to 90 endurance. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the price of these cards. One is 145,000. This one, unfortunately, is not on the auction house, but you can build it. So if you were looking at Jerome Aginla and say you had the 150,000 coins it's gonna take you to build this card, you might as well buy the 92. That's where that's where you got to keep an eye out and the, the balance you got to keep an eye out for. When you're going to look at it, you're like, oh, I can always save on the cheaper card. You actually can't save on this card that way unless it's non tradables and then go ahead and build it. But if you're taking the 150,000 and you're going to buy the 85s you need to turn into the set, which you need six Captain 85s, if you were to do that, this would cost you 150,000 or you can go get the 92 again for 145,000. So we got the Kadri, the free cheap, the free lesser overall, the better play. We got the dry sidle, not worth 160,000 more. And then we got the Jerome again, the, the 92 is actually worth it at the same value of the 88. So those are some different ways to look at cards. And those are examples of don't just jump on the higher overall card, take a deep dive, take a second. Your coins are precious, your coins are valuable. and you don't always need to get the newest, hottest card out here. If they want us to keep getting the newest, hottest card, guys, make them make them miles better and give us something to chase. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it does help, and I hope you can get the best cards for your team. Enjoy building your team, guys. Until next time, ciao, ciao.